Hello everybody and welcome back to these news videos. It's still getting quite started, but instead of messing with some preamble before we get started, let's just jump. <laughs> I keep saying the Phil DeFranco thing, but I, I really mean it. Like I just want to jump right in, get started with the news. Um, as you may have noticed, Grand Theft Auto Online is a big thing. Grand Theft Auto in general is a very big thing. Just last month in June, we talked about this on the latest episode of RP Radio, which I recommend you check it out, but we went over the NPDs, which is basically the top sellers for the month of June, because those, um, that just got recently published, um, this week, um, all the top selling games of June 2019, which I recommend you check it out. I have, I'll have a link to that in the description, but number four, so number four on top 10 best selling games of June 2019 was Grand Theft Auto V. And so, yeah, that's, um, that's bizarre, uh, to say the least. Um, but yeah, it's still going strong. They just added a new expansion. The Diamond Casino and Resort, I believe, was the name of the, the, the official name of the update. But essentially, it added an in-game casino. And the casino in question was something that had been in sort of the mythology, the urban legend of GTA Online. It was always something that everyone wanted to go into for some reason i think it was just it was just very enticing to a lot of players it became kind of a meme within the community so finally rockstar opened the gates you can go in you can buy a penthouse you can actually gamble in this casino with your in-game currency which you can buy with real money so you don't have to you know spend real money to get in-game currency but you can um which Raises a lot of questions about this casino. This casino that lets you, in theory, gamble with real money. So that has raised a lot of ethical quandaries within myself and the community. And I think that, you know, you can imagine the controversy. And that's why I have this article Propped up right here. GTA Online's new casino won't let players in some countries gamble. This is written by Zach Zweizen from Kotaku. And, yeah, I think that by... Because the thing I want to bring up about this, in the article it explains that this was something that was mandated by Rockstar themselves. This wasn't something that they tried to get out there and then some country said, no, 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 you can't do this, remove this. This was something they knew beforehand and didn't permit these countries to do. So that tells, that's very telling that they knew full well that this was very analogous to, analogous, whatever, to real gambling to the point where countries where gambling isn't allowed can't do it. I think that speaks volumes. And anyone in the game can gamble as long as they have an in-game membership to this casino. It costs about $500 of real world, or not real, could you imagine? I mean, some of the stuff in that game is pretty expensive if you're converting it to real world, ca real world cash. But no, it's $500 of in-game cash, which is pretty cheap for that game. And yeah, you can just gamble away. It's kind of, I think it, I could see it as a way of letting new players make money fast if they're lucky. But at the same time, I feel like it's potentially predatory against gamer gamers who uh you know spend a lot of real world cash in these games so i kind of want to open the i kind of wanted this to be a little faster than last time last one was i told myself before i started last one i'm like i don't want this to be over 10 minutes long and then it was over 10 minutes long i was like dang it so i just want to ask this question right away what do you think about this because like I'm not a fan of a lot of GTA Online's updates, especially this one, but ultimately, you know, it's up to the people what they do with their money. Um, but I also see it as this could be setting a really bad precedent, you know? Like, we keep giving Rockstar a pass because they release these free updates, in, free updates in quotes, because even though they're free updates, it still requires you to spend a lot of in-game currency on the items, and it kind of encourages you to spend money on shark cards. Um, yeah, I could see this being 
abused if we don't nip this in the bud really soon. Like, they added real gambling to a video game that didn't already have real gambling. That just doesn't sit right with me. So, I want to know what you think. Let me know. Let me know if I'm overanalyzing this. Maybe, because I know Red Dead Redemption also has some sort of gambling where you can play poker with friends online and stuff like that, and technically you can spend real money on that, but I think that's a separate currency in Red Dead Redemption too. so... You know, it's a little... You can't compare. It's, it's kind of apples and oranges. Um, it's like... It's like uh, green apples versus red apples here, I would say, actually. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.